Time to play with some clay. All right, uh, I'm going to be working on cutting the foam on that to get it started at least. But I'm going to set it aside because I've noticed that this uh, monster clay has a ten. It, it hardens really hard when it cools, and if that's the case, it's going to make it hard to do t detail work after an hour or two after it sat there and so I want to try it out with something simple take everything outside and uh, carve the foam out there because uh, the uh, fine granules of uh, foam I don't want floating around in the studio I would rather have it outside where it can blow away I gotta take my trash can out there I've got this uh, serrated knife, this uh, Ginsu knife, but I, this foam gets tough, it's hard to cut, even with this thing, and so I've got a handsaw ah, that I use, as well as a couple other saws that I have around here. I set it for 80 degrees in here just so that uh, after I turn it off it won't get cold real quick. I gotta cut this. Uh... I can't find any of my hand saws. That's driving me nuts. Now I'll just have to use this one. This stuff gets really hard. That's what makes it ideal for what I'm doing. I decided to do this outside today because it's supposed to snow this weekend. I don't think I want to be doing this in a snowstorm outside. It's about 50 degrees out there. It's still not really warm, but warmer than 20 degrees. <laughs>
I'm getting close to being done doing this. I've created so much dust in here already, I don't think it's going to hurt you. I'm not upset by this difficulty because it's creating nice little undercuts and rocks have fractures in them anyway, so I'm just creating fractures, to say the least. I'm not going to throw away these uh, pieces because I might use them for rocks on the piece, so I'm going to set those down there. I already bent my saw. <laughs> That's how tough this stuff is. I think I'll leave that piece right there. Alright, I got it outside. Let me put these on my saw. Put rubber gloves on. My hands are sensitive enough without uh, experimenting to see if my hands are sensitive to foam. So I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm not going to do a lot of detail because quite honestly I'm going to inside before I do anything. Let me go get my can to air and be right back. The one thing you don't want is to have those little granules getting in your clay. Uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.